Good evening, I'm meteorologist Christian Maris with the KHOU 11 weather team. We are tracking some storms that are moving to the north of Houston. These are packing a bit of a punch as they make their way through Washington County. Right now they are situated just over Brenham. There's a lot of lightning and some heavy rain with these storms and they are very slow moving as we've been tracking these for the past 30 minutes to an hour. Right now making its way over the middle portion of Washington County. One thing that we're really re focusing on is the potential for these storms to make their way towards Conroe even northern portions of Harris County and the fact that they are slow moving does increase that flooding threat for our northern areas as we head into the next few hours. So expecting also that the Storm Prediction Center is now including some portions of our viewing area under a slight risk for severe weather for this afternoon. Areas from Houston, even Liberty, Cleveland, Conroe and Sugarland are under a marginal risk. That is a one out of four. As we look at our future track, we are expecting the series of disturbances that are going to be moving through today. Most of the heavier rain activity remaining to the north of Houston from the Woodlands, Conroe, Huntsville, even Bryan College Station and dealing with these uh, rounds of storms. Uh, but the good news is that uh, the models are showing that these are weakening as they make their way off towards the east. But uh, we could still see some of those isolated showers even the, in the evening hours going into early Sunday morning. And we are expecting to start off with a rather stormy outlook for Sunday morning for Super Bowl. But other than that, we are expecting those conditions to clear on out by Super Bowl by kickoff time for tomorrow afternoon. So that is the good news in all of this. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, back up here to our radar as we uh, track this storm system that it's making its way across the state of Texas. We have a stationary frontal boundary that is draped across central Texas, and you're able to see those storms lining up along that boundary as it's slowly making its way uh, towards southeast Texas. And so as as we look at the closer view here, we're mo mostly tracking these storms to the north and west of Houston, even areas from Columbus to I along the I-10 corridor, just north of I-10. It definitely starts can see some of these storms make their way off towards the east, but uh, the storm near Brenham, College Station, Bryan, packing a bit of a punch as these uh, seeing some possible 50 mile an hour wind gusts as well as some possible pea sized hail uh, with this st series of storms that are making its way uh, just along the 290 corridor. So Navasota, you're about to get some of those stormy activity with lots of lightning and some gusty winds with heavy rain. And we are expecting these to continue its track off towards Conroe in spring as these make their way into our northern areas. These storms are likely to clip the northern portions of Harris County, uh, but the thing to note here is that these are slow moving, and so we very well could see uh, some flooding, that flooding threat to start increasing for our northern areas as we head into the next few hours. This storm has been pretty much stationary, very slowly moving into Washington County, so it's not really a fast moving storm uh, that's making its way into uh, portions of Navasota. So for portions of spring, Conroe along the I-45 corridor, you might want to keep an eye on these series of storms that are off towards the west of you guys because uh, we will are seeing these move off towards the east very slowly and even though that uh, most of the the areas from Houston to the Galveston not really expecting that much heavy rain just keep an eye that those area waterways uh, could definitely uh, fill up if we do see these slow moving storms because uh, our grounds are still very saturated from that series of rainfall that we saw uh, about a couple of weeks ago so the Storm Prediction Center keeping us under a marginal risk for Houston, but they have upgraded our northwestern areas. Brenham, Navasota, even Huntsville, Walker County dealing with a level two out of five for this afternoon as these series of disturbances are going to be tracking through southeast Texas. So looking at our future track, most of the heavier rain activity, like I said, remaining to the north of Houston from Woodlands to the Conroe to uh, Huntsville, even Bryan College Station dealing with these storms but we very well could see some isolated storm activity making its way through the Houston area within the next uh, few hours as these disturbances track off towards the east. Our next round of storms expected to arrive on Sunday morning, but then very 
quickly clearing out by Sunday afternoon. We will see a cold front arrive in the later hours of Sunday night. That's going to bring us some cooler conditions for the start of next week. But uh, as we look at our forecasted rain accumulation, we could get up to an inch and a half or actually about a half an inch to an inch of rain from Houston to Galveston. But areas from Navasota, even Livingston, the northern portions of our viewing area are likely to get to two to four inches of rain. And that's exactly what we're seeing right now in and around Washington County with this slow moving storm that's just really not moving all that fast going uh, through the area. So lots of lightning right now going through Navasota. We're about to hit Navasota, even Brenham dealing with mostly heavy rain and some gusty winds. But uh, if you are in Conroe, even along the I-45 corridor, you do have some rain heading your way and these storms are packing a bit of a punch. So definitely uh, keep an eye on that if you do have some outdoor activities within the next 30 minutes to an hour, but also keep an eye on the fact that these storms are very slow moving. So we very well could see that flooding threat start increasing for our northern areas north of Spring Conroe as we head into the next few hours. So you can always stay up to date, of course, uh, by on the KHOU 11 app as well as our latest forecast, but also the Storm Prediction Center, like I, like I said, increasing that severe storm risk for our northwestern areas for this afternoon as these series of disturbances are moving through. If anything does erupt, of course, I am here and we will uh, come back to you uh, digitally on our Facebook page or our digital media page or actually page you.com if as we track these storms as they make their way through southeast Texas for the next few hours.